Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions, from Plant Talk Radio. To help keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stoke Seeds. More than just a listing of vegetable and flower seeds, the Stoke Seeds website is a complete resource center with valuable information on seed starting, planting, and harvesting, plus all the gardening accessories you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Pre-order your free 2018 gardening guide today from stokeseeds.com, cultivating successful growers for generations. We'll have more to come from Stoke Seeds in the next few weeks. Now, on to today's question. You wanted to talk a little bit more about the, uh, the the watering. Again, I don't want to go into a four-hour plant physiology uh, talk, but at the same time, people do need to understand what it is they're doing. You have a plant that is either in dormancy or, or darn close to it. It is running on reduced light, so it doesn't need as much water to put it that way. And then the other thing is water is always positive to a plant when you're using the right quantities and timing, but it can kill, and it is entirely possible. The plant top is not growing heavily this time of year, that the roots can be almost literally drowned or at least killed back beyond a reasonable point. So it is that of watering. When you water, you should still be very sure the plant is moist. It is not wrong to set things like an African violet right in the sink water, the yay deep, let it literally soak up. Uh, even bigger pots can be put in and you let them get wet until the bubbling stops. You know the air is going out of the soil. but Instead of it being 5, 7, 10 days before you water again, it can be 10, 14, 21. So you have to learn that. And again, it's a matter of educating your knuckles and then paying attention to the fact that we're in our shorter days of, the, of light this time of year. So you just simply allow the plant to slow down. Its needs are down. And then for sure, no fertilizer on most normal things, at least, until way into late March when the day length is up and things are starting to grow again better. Thanks again for listening to the podcast. If you have a question for Fred, go ahead and email us, fred at planttalkradio.com. And for the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to www.stokeseeds.com. Pre-order your free 2018 gardening guide today from stokeseeds.com. Cultivating successful growers for generations.